What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have this interesting question that says that find the value of the square root of 12 all over the square root of 15 plus the square root of 13. So our first step will be for us to multiply by the conjugate. So how do we multiply by the conjugate? Well, we have the square root of 12 all over the square root of 15 plus the square root of 13. So multiplying by the conjugate means multiplying by the square root of 15 minus, which is the opposite of this sign, the square root of 13 all over the square root of 15 minus the square root of 13. So this is what we mean by saying multiply by the conjugate. Very good. Now we can write this in a better way. So this is the square root of 12 multiplying the square root of 15 minus the square root of 13. All over. Now the denominator looks somewhat like this. Like a plus b times a minus b. And an expression like this is an identity of difference of two squares which is a squared minus b squared. Now we're going to be writing what we have here like this. So this will be the square root of 15 raised to power 2 minus the square root of 13 raised to power 2, which is difference of two squares. Very good. So simplifying further, we have the square root of 12 times the square root of 15 minus the square root of 13 all over. Now notice that this square cancels out the square root. This square cancels out the square root. So we are left with 15 minus 13, which is equal to 2. Good. Now let's simplify this 12. Well, the square root of 12, let me write that out. The square root of 12 is the same as the square root of 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Which can further be simplified into the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. And this is equal to the square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 3. So the square root of 12 is 2 root 3. Let's write that here. So this is 2 root 3 replacing the square root of 12 times the square root of 15 minus the square root of 13 all over 2. Now notice that this 2 can cancel out this 2, making our expression to reduce into the square root of 3 times the square root of 15 minus the square root of 13. Very good. Now let's expand this bracket by distributing the square root of 3 inside. So this becomes the square root of 3 times the square root of 15 minus the square root of 3 times the square root of 13. This expression can be simplified into the square root of 3 times 15 minus, this is the same way, the square root of 3 times 13. So simplifying further, this becomes the square root of 3 times 15 is 45. Minus, now the square root of 3 times 13 is 39. Well, we can further simplify this 45. This 45 is the same as the square root of 9 times 5. Very good. Minus, well, we can leave this like this, the square root of 39. This expression is the same as the square root of 9 times the square root of 5 minus the square root of 39. Well, the square root of 9 is 3 times the square root of 5 minus the square root of 39, and this becomes our final answer. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this video, and I've learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, 
Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.